Hello everyone, Argon Matrix here, welcome you back to episode Um I can't remember. This is this is embarrassing. Um well, I'll just say episode 8 Pi Alpha of Let's Play Secret of Man. Actually it's probably part 16 now that I think about it, but whatever. This is now part 8 Pi Alpha. Okay, so um Last time we finally got to what is this place? I Matango, that's it. And now, what did the king tell us? I forgot to go back, back and talk to him. That's actually what I was going to do. Let's see. Uh, I'm counting on you. Translation, I'm counting on you. Well, that doesn't really help me at all, but uh, I think he said to, like, there was a passage on the right of the first floor, which should be over here, I thought. Oh, okay, I guess that's the passage. I just couldn't tell. Like, normally those, like, weird square ends, they're not actually, like, exits. At least that's what I've found. Oh no, now there's monsters again. Dang, nabbit. Mm, I should actually probably change change away from that axe, because I want to be using the sword, I think. Let's see. Yeah. Mm, man, this lighting is so weird, but I just love it. And I don't know. I don't know if it goes along with the music too well. Not that the music isn't awesome, it's just kind of contradictory to what I would think. I would think it would be more like glimmery and mystical, you know, but, uh, I don't know. Why are there even crabs here in the first place? Like, it's weird, because we're, like, in this forest, and there's all these strange little water enemies. I, like, I just don't get it. <laughs> Whatever, though. It doesn't have to make sense. It's a video game. If, it, if playing video games has taught me anything, it's that. Because, <laughs> like, if you try to explain a video game to someone, like, like, freaking like, Dr. Phil or Oprah or someone old and, like, all social, political like that. Then, and you, like, say to them, like, okay, so, get this. Like, you gotta go through a forest, like, through a dark undercover. And it's full of crabs and fish and these weird little centipede things called crawlers. You, okay, got it? And there's mushrooms that are half the size of you. And you gotta traverse through this cliffy area until you find a white dragon, which could or could not be a luck dragon. And, like, just imagine their response to that. Oh, Edry's level 21. Awesome. Like, I just can't even fathom what someone, what, like, an old person would say that. Not, like, old, not, it's not that old people can't, like, get video games. It's just, like, <laughs> I guess without seeing it, it would just be, well, with, to, to anyone without seeing it, it would be kind of confusing, I guess. I really hate these guys, these frickin' peddlers. Whatever, man. 99. I love getting 99 damage, almost more than more than I love getting 100 damage. Oh, damn it, I got confused. I didn't even notice. <laughs> Alright, dude, what am I doing? I was, like, pressing the button, and he was, like, backing away. That was weird. Mm, so today is June 11th, I believe. I wrote my physics test today. I, I shouldn't be talking about that. I should actually be talking about the game, I guess. But, uh... Funny thing, I was actually uh, just at a stream by Nintendo Capri Sun. He was streaming this game, actually. So I shouldn't have been there at all, I know. But I was only there for like five minutes. I didn't really see anything f of vast importance. I did hear, like, uh, that something about a serpent and using air blast on him, which I probably would have figured out eventually anyways, but... Whatever. Uh... What am I doing? Am I supposed to... Oh, I have to whip across. I, oh, I, I think. That's kind of what it looks like here. Dude, those guys are kicking my ass, though. Okay, we're just going to go ahead and use magic and decimate them, I guess. If I can get the right magic here. Uh, yeah, here we go. Gem missile on... Not all of them, just the kimono bird. Because he's the only one that's really doing anything to me. So... There we go. Yeah, this looks whippable. I don't know. It's, it almost looks like the gap is a little bit too strange. Yeah, I guess that's not whippable. Oh, is it? What? What's happening? I am so confused. Here we go. There it is. Got it. I knew those stalagmites looked a little strange. Nope. I was about to go ahead and pull up my axe and use that on it again. Yeah, apparently someone in the comments mentioned too that the axe thing, like how it breaks the stalagmites like that, that I was all confused about. That's actually in the instruction manual for the game, and 
shows me for not reading that damn thing. I'll, of course, I am playing on the virtual consoles, and, like, who reads the operations guide for, like, any virtual console games, really? Like, the only one I could think of that would actually be extremely per pertinent would be the Star Tropics one, but... And that's for obvious reasons if, you, if you've ever played Star Tropics. If I tried to explain it right now, it'd just be way too confusing. Okay, let's see. And again, you must whip it. Just like Majora, baby. Okay, I might as well keep the whip out for now, because, like... Logic dictates that if there's been two whip things like that so close together, there's probably going to be another one up ahead. You know, the, the rule of three, as it were. Plus, the, that whip animation is actually really cool once you get to appreciate it. Uh-oh, there's skulls here. There's probably been skulls all over the place, but I haven't been noticing them. I really hate these kimono birds, I tell ya. They're going to drain my MP to nothing. To nothing, I tell ya. Boom. <laughs> I just love how you can hit them from so far away with this whip. Like, it's not a ranged weapon, obviously, but it's just, like, so funny. <laughs> and he's just standing there because he's all stuck by the balloon or whatever. Great. This is a labyrinthine area. Of course, I always say that, and it always turns out that there's only one way to go anyways, so... But right now, right here, it looks like there's two ways to go. I'm going to go over this way because it looks more interesting. What the hell? Where did you come from? I'm not even going to bother with you. No, don't do this again. Oh, crap. Alright, Sydney. Save me. Mm -hmm. God, am I still confused? No, I'm not. Okay. Uh, can't, well, it doesn't look like I can do anything over there. There's, lot, there's a much more abundance of skulls here, though, so... I kind of slurred my word there. The word I said was abundance. Dude, oh my god, there's two of them on the screen right now. I'm going to see if I can do this, though, then. Let's see, all of them. I know this shouldn't isn't supposed to like do much at all if you target multiple enemies like this, but uh Oh yeah, that didn't really do that great. I mean 110, I shouldn't be saying oh that's not that great, especially when I was doing like jack all in the beginning of the game. Mm, I didn't I didn't mean to open that mid battle like this. Chocolate won't fit, damn it. Whatever. I guess that just means I already have four chocolates anyways, so. Okay, you guys need to get out of here. And down the steps, downward, down where we go. We're going to go into the deep core pretty soon. Um, what? Do I have to do something here? This can't just be a dunk, another freaking dead end. I'm going to figure this out. Okay. I don't suppose I can use the axe again to, like, break these and do something. Oh, I guess I can, but will this serve a purpose at all? It doesn't really look like it. Can I, like, hop down somehow? I don't know. Hmm. Hmm. Why do I think these, like, Moogle Claws might help? I don't know. <laughs> They're not going to. They just It's just because it looks like the freaking Digging Claws in Skyward Sword to me. But I don't e I, even so, I don't know how that would even help with a rock quarry like this. Let's see. Nothing? I mean, this seems pretty dead-ended, I don't know, there's like no skulls on the wall, I guess there's just must be another way to go that I'm not paying attention to or something. We'll see, hopefully it's not another random episode of wandering bullshit. Can I, can I, is this a passage up here? No, that's like something else. That, that is a staircase, but I can't really reach that, and maybe I have to like activate a switch somewhere? Hmm. Alright, come on guys, we're not going to deal with the enemies right now, we're dragging that pebbler along with us though, apparently. Let's see, maybe over here. Have I gone over here yet? Yeah, this is where the water was, but I can't like get down into the water, I don't think. There we go. Hmm. What a conundrum. And this is where you whip across. I don't want to do that again, because that was just... I feel like... <laughs> that's just too much work to pull out the whip every time. And just say, you must whip it every time. That's the only thing that makes it remotely interesting, I guess. Okay. I can't do anything over here. This this area is, like, totally blocked off. Unless I can, like, smash the skulls, too, with that axe. Which I probably can, now that I think about it. Let's see. Mmm... Just in case, you know, it's kind of gruesome, but gotta try it. Oh, I can just walk past here. Okay, I, or maybe I did break some of the axe there, because I swear I couldn't walk past there before, but 
Oh, maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Let's see here. God, these peddlers are the most annoying little creatures. <laughs> I don't know why they're annoying. Mostly because that stupid swirl attack right there. That one that the guy just did. I don't, it reminds me of some other... It like reminds me of Gradius and how unforgiving that game is. Because it's just like there's shots firing all over the place. And when things fire in a circle like that, there's like no way you can dodge it. Especially if it's going like even moderately fast like those guys do. It sucks. Whatever. I know this is a stupid thing to rant on. How could how could you cast silence on me from way over there, man? That's just rude. But I'm just gonna wait for it to wear off then in that case. There we go. I probably could just cast remedy as well, but Let's see anything else down down and around here? I guess not. So this is still relatively linear. I just got confused with that rock quarry for a second. Uh, I think I'm gonna heal up a bit actually. Let's see. Do -do -do. Don't need much healing, but actually Sydney kind of does. Oh, she got her magic skill up to level two. Sweet, perfect. Now next time we use that, it'll be even more powerful, bigger, stronger too. Okay. I like this moss on the floor. It's kind of neat. Let's see. Oh, a crystal. Oh boy. We know what to do here. We gotta test. Oh, actually, we gotta use analyzer on it, right? Yeah, instead of I could test all my magic, I guess, but this works just as, and in fact, better, I guess. It's still so mechanical looking. Gnome's magic will work. Okay, got it. So let's see. Edge, uh, you gotta pull out Gnome again. It's the cheapest. I think it's just Gem Missile, right? Well, we'll speed down work on it. I don't know. Let's try. Somehow I kind of doubt it, but yeah, I didn't think that would actually work. Okay, so you have to use an actual attacking move on it, I guess. What? Okay, do I have to use Rock Slide on it then? Okay, well, this is gonna deplete my MP. But it said Gnome's Magic, so I trust it. Unless I read it wrong. Oh, there we go. Okay. Heard the sound of falling rock somewhere. I bet, I bet I know what that is. That was that hole leading to that, like, random staircase. Cause, and, like, I, th I thought it could cross if I activated a switch or something, so I was kind of half right about the switch, I guess. Because it wouldn't make sense if you would, like, come out from that staircase, because what would you come out to? You would come out to, like, a ledge that you can't do anything from, and you just be like, Oh, this is that old area. You know, old-ass geriatrics. Damn it, I'm out of MP for Edge. Do I have any fairy walnuts? I do. Four of them. Sweet. Well, here you go, Edge. Go crazy. Go nuts. That was lame. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, seriously. You guys need to... Calm down. All right, where's the Kona bird? There he is. <laughs> He's laying on the ground. Dude, stop doing the swirly attack. It's so freaking annoying. <laughs> you know, swirly. Oh god, there we go. Stealing catchphrases again. It's all I ever do, man. You know, secret of mana. Now two percent original commentary. Mm -hmm. But at least Sydney reached level twenty-two. Something to be celebrating. Right, it wasn't this. Oh no. Well, it must have been. Maybe it was this rock quarry down here then that I was all confused by. Dude, Edge is trapped by that freaking. Let's see if I can just. Uh, well, if I try to cast like it on all of the enemies, it's gonna hit that peddler too. I was trying to just see if I could take out both those kimono birds with one fell swoop or something. No? Still nothing here? It looks like there might be more rocks. I don't know. Well, let's just keep on perusing, I guess. Just keep backtracking until I find something. Probably passed it because I was just so dead set on getting back to here that I totally didn't even bother paying attention to anything else. Yeah, buddy. I don't want to hit that guy. Oh my god. All the way across the screen like that? No, thank you. And it just magic skill up. Hurrah. Oh my god. 326. That's actually not even the highest I've hit. And I just reached level 20. Or was that Argon reaching level 22? Probably. Man, this is fun. I don't know, just playing an old Super Nintendo game like this just brings back old 90s memories, you know. Something that you can't get nowadays, where the internet, like, couldn't help you at all, because you didn't have internet, so you had to, like, rely on, like, Nintendo power and all this shit to be video games, or just your own wit and ability to solve puzzles. <laughs> and we can all see how well that works. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, yeah, forget you guys. This is ridiculous. 
I'm starting to get more impatient with these enemies, I tell you. Crap! So confused. Hmm. Could I go down this way before? I don't think so. This must have been the way. Well, damn it, it was the sec- It was like the first room, dude. Or else, is this- Oh, well, the music changed. Okay. That must be indicative of something, right? Indicative of Bill Clinton's legacy, maybe? Can you name where that quote's from? <laughs> mm, bam! Oh my god, they don't have much HP at all. I thought they had like 300 HP, those kimono birds, but... I don't know, I guess I was just doing so much more damage than they could handle that they would die in one hit anyways. Mm, oh, here we go. Oh no, boss music! Okay, boss time, baby! Where is he? Is it these mushrooms? I'm gonna kick your ass, you quad mushroom. What the fu- It's the snake! <laughs> well, I'm gonna go ahead and use Analyzer on it, because I don't care. I said that. I, I think I cut it out when I said it in the last video. But, uh... I would, I would kind of like to analyze these bosses. Alright. Lots of HP. Not much MP. Okay. Great Vipe. Sylphid? I think that's what it says. Sylphid. Okay. And that corresponds with what I heard in- Oh god, he's hiding in the trees! He just- did he Oh god! It, Edge is pygmyized. What is Edge doing over there? He's getting his ass kicked. Oh, he's he's dying. That's what he's doing, dude. Oh my god, this snake is crazy. Okay, um, we're gonna have to revive you. You're gonna have to <laughs> cure yourself if you can. Let's see. Where's remedy? Is it is it a water spell? An undying spell? Yeah, it is. Okay. All right now, Edge. Can you cast stuff? Okay, you can. Alright, here we go. You cast... Uh, Air Blast or Thunder... I'm gonna go with Air Blast. <laughs> Let's just see. Come on! It didn't work, man. Okay, do it again. I hate it when it doesn't work, because I'm just sitting there expecting it, and I just end up sitting there wasting five seconds of my time waiting on something that's not gonna happen. That's not much damage at all. Shit. Mm. <laughs> that actually was a lot of damage when I... Oh, I should, I should change from the whip. Crap, I should be using my stronger weapons on a boss, I guess. Oh, well, that didn't work. That didn't do jack all. Dude, Edge is dead again. He's dying left and right here. I don't believe this. At least I got quite a few cups of wishes, I guess, but... Alright, yeah, see, there we go. Maybe I just didn't hit him at 100% that one time. Oh, Sydney. <laughs> She's all pig me eyes again. That's so cute. Let's see. How does Thunderbolt do? On the Great Viper. <laughs> Of course it would be a viper. What the hell? That was scary. Alright, it does substantially more than air blast, but I don't know if it's worth like the two extra MP. Let's see here. Uh, yeah, remedy. Not well, I actually probably should cast cure water on her. Alright, get- I, I don't know if I can like only hit him in the head or what. That's what I would assume. Oh, apparently not, because I just hit him in the balls that time. Did he just steal- oh, I, he pig me eyes everyone. Good god. Sydney's dead. Oh my god. I, and Edge is almost. Ed, Edge is dead. What the frick frack, man? Oh my god. I'm such an idiot. And I haven't saved in like forever either. Okay. We're gonna have to revive Sydney. I'm gonna have to try and stay alive with Argon here. I gotta watch my health better, I tell you. This guy does massive HPs of damage. Now, revive Edge. And can you. Let's see. Can you cure Argon for me, Sydney? Can you do that, please? pretty please I know we've had our differences in the past but just do this for me yay yay all right watch out edge oh my god you're gonna, you're gonna get your ass kicked seems like he like steals your character's way into the trees at random times yeah just like that like I don't know dude let her go god damn it <laughs> this is gonna be a pain in the ass tell you what all right edge you're gonna have to we're gonna have to get your magics ready get your weapons ready Right, and air blast. Okay, he's not on the screen yet though, so I'll just have to wait. Come on, there he is. Okay, let's get him. Let's fuck that motherfucker up. <laughs> so much. <laughs> uh, oh, great. Oh, uh, Sydney, take take the chocolate. <laughs> we don't have time for your cure water, so that'll have to do. Edge, you're gonna take this fairy walnut too. We got lots of them, so. Keep shooting. We've got plenty of fairy walnuts. Ah! This snake is a pain in the ass. He's just all going serpentine, which I guess makes sense. But, alright, you. I'm gonna kick your ass. 
I guess I should just keep using Air Blast. Just in terms of uh, trying to conserve MP. I should have leveled up Sylph on, on my way here, I guess. Oh god. I could use Analyzer again to just see how much damage he's, uh, we've dealt so far. Oh, he stopped. Dude, he stopped for a second. What the hell? Dude, guys, get off the mushrooms. <laughs> oh my god. Lay off, lay off me, lay off my mushrooms. Oh, frick frat. He's, he just like stops and gyrates there for a second sometimes. It's really weird. Yeah, I messed that up. Okay. I'm trying to do this like chaining thing. I don't know, man. I don't think I can do it right. <laughs> yeah, I think I am actually going to analyze them here in a second. Uh, no, it's not Undyne. Here we go. Come on. Get a lock on. Get a lock on. I think she messed that up because she was getting hit at the same time. Here we go. There we go. Oh, he's at, he has 530 still. Oh my god. Okay, Edge, before you die, I'm gonna give you... Actually, he probably could just use a candy, but I don't really care. <laughs> I'm keeping him as alive as possible. Alive and kicking, and all that caffeine in that coffee, I mean, in the chocolate, is going to certainly do wonders for you. <laughs> I'm just resorting to Thunderbolts, man. That is scary looking, though. <laughs> How it just makes everything so dark. Like, you figure if you cast Thunder, uh-oh. Gem Missile level 5? Are you freaking kidding me? And Edge is pig me eyes. I didn't even realize. <laughs> Oops. Okay. No, we don't need that. Oh, he stole me away, and he picked me- Frick. <laughs> right as soon as I heal up Edge. Okay, uh, we're gonna have to do that again, then. Alright, come on. I wanna cast magic, but I wanna- Okay, there we go. Uh, oh, come on. There we go. He should be on the screen enough right now, right? Yeah, buddy. Holy crap, that's like something out of like an Edgar Allan Poe story right there. Oh, especially when the, like, the lines blurring reality and shadow dimensions there. I don't know, did you see that? That was weird. He picked me out. De Edge is dead. Oh, crap. He doesn't look dead, but he's... Yeah, there he goes. All right, I think we've still got one more... No, we don't have one more couple wishes. Crap! Which means we don't have magic anymore, at least not offensive magic. Well, I'm going to have to go try something else here. Let's see. Maybe one of the sabers can help me. One of these magic sabers. Uh, thunder saber? I don't think I've tried that yet. Oh well, better, better do it now. No time like the present to be experimenting with new stuff. Don't steal Sydney away, you jackass! I'm gonna get you. Oh, she pig, she got pygmy eyes. Oh, crap. Okay. Well, this doesn't seem to be doing any more damage to him. I don't know if it's. Oh shit, she died. Oh god, <laughs> I am so screwed here. Okay. No, no, I'm not screwed. I can still pull this out of my ass if I just keep my wits about me. Oh, God, no. No. Do I have anything to even heal that? Can I, can I use a magical herb? Does that work? Yeah, it does. Okay, sweet. Because <laughs> I didn't want to be sitting here, like, doing one damage all the time. All right, come on. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't use that. Oh, God, can I survive? Yeah, that's no big deal. Okay. And I can't even use animal. Oh, I got him! I got him! I freaking got him! Oh my god, I was on the brink of catastrophe there. But I did it! And I got a sword orb too, oh my god. I earned that shit, man. Hell yeah. What's up this way? Oh my god, I thought I was screwed there for sure. I thought I was gonna have to work back from the freaking Matango in. But I managed to pull that one out. Oh hey, that's the rock quarry I was stuck at before, okay. Looks like we've come full circle, sort of. No enemies around here either, so... Yeah, buddy. God, that is a, that was one annoying-ass snake. Whoa. What is with this? Who... Are you the luck dragon? The white dragon? This is the legendary white dragon? I would assume so. He's got a rock and hair there. Oh. Serious music. His parents must have been beaten by that serpent. Oh, no. Oh, man. Listen to him. That's so sad. It won't make it if we leave. 
it, it, it won't make it if we leave it here. It's way too big for us to carry. Let's ask Truffle. That poor little thing. We can't just leave it here to go ask Truffle, though, can we? Oh, well, apparently we can. Okay. <laughs> mm. He'll only slow down. So I'll r only slow you down. So I'll raise him. Oh, that's noble of you. <laughs> you three get going. I'll take good care of him. Awesome, dude. Awesome. By the way, how do you like the name Flammy? Oh, I don't, I don't, personally, if you're willing to, wait, I sound like an idiot. <laughs> it didn't even give me the choice there, sweet. You'd agree with me whether you like the name or not. Hell yeah, man, I was going to say. <laughs> Flamey's actually a not a bad name for him. Okay. Yeah, buddy. Can travels open again in the forest of the south. You'll find the fire, pal fire palace somewhere in the desert of Kakara. Of Kakariko? Is that what that is? God, that is awesome. That is such triumphant. That just touches my heart, man. <laughs> it reminds me of Mother 3, actually, you know, how... Uh, well, I don't want to spoil Mother 3, so I just won't say anything about that, but... Dude, oh god. <laughs> yeah, I definitely don't want to spoil anything in a blind LP. Good lord. Right, I am up to 30 minutes. I might just post this all as one big episode. I don't know. We'll see. But for now, I think that was a rather uh, productive episode. I don't know. It just seems like a good starting point and a good stopping point. Just the whole cave system there. So I will go ahead and save here, and we will call it a video. So thank you, everyone, for watching. Hopefully you didn't uh, leave or facepalm at my dumbassery against that stupid viper. But uh, we pulled through, so save my game. Yeah, buddy. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks, everyone, for watching. This is Argon Matrix, signing out. Thank you, and good night.